Class 7 are radioactive materials categorized into one of three categories depending on the severity of the danger of the radioactive source. Everything in nature is made up of atoms. They are the basic unit of matter. An atom consists of a nucleus that contains positively charged protons and neutrons that have no charge. The total number of protons and neutrons is called an atom's atomic mass number. And orbiting around the nucleus are negatively charged electrons. An element is a substance that is made entirely from one type of atom. The number of protons determines what the element is. For example, an atom with only one proton is hydrogen. Whereas an atom with six protons is carbon. While all atoms of the same element have the same number of protons, it is possible for atoms of one element to have a different number of neutrons. The number of neutrons determines the variant of the element called its isotope or nuclide. An atom with too many neutrons is unstable, that is, it has too much energy. It is regarded as radioactive and when it releases its energy it is said to decay. Once it stabilizes it is no longer regarded as radioactive. All radioactive atoms decay eventually, though they do not all decay at the same rate. The rate of decay is called its activity. A stable carbon atom has six protons and six neutrons. Its atomic number is six. Its atomic mass number is twelve. A common unstable atom of carbon has 8 neutrons, making its atomic mass number 14, and it is written as Ca14 or carbon 14. In order to become stable, the carbon 14 atom must rid itself of extra neutrons, thus releasing energy. There are various types of radiation. Alpha particles are relatively slow and heavy. They have a low penetrating power and can be stopped with a sheet of paper. Beta particles are fast and light and have a medium penetrating power. They can be stopped by a sheet of aluminium or plastic like perspex. Gamma rays are waves, not particles, and have a high penetrating power. It takes a thick sheet of metal such as lead or concrete to reduce them significantly. The main danger from radioactivity is the damage it does to the cells in your body. Contamination can occur through direct contact with a radioactive source. Contamination may affect a person, a place, an animal or an object such as clothing. Radiation can occur through prolonged exposure to a source, the most common being the sun. And if radiation levels are high, there can be damage due to heating effects as your body absorbs the energy from radiation, rather like heating food in a microwave oven. Radiation can come from natural and artificial sources. We are exposed to minute amounts of radiation at all times. Natural background radiation can come from cosmic rays or particles that bombard the Earth from outer space, that is, anywhere outside the Earth's atmosphere. Cosmic radiation reaches the Earth primarily from the Sun, with our atmosphere acting as a shield, reducing the amount of radiation reaching the Earth's surface. Terrestrial radiation originates from the rocks and the soil in the Earth's crust, like uranium and thorium. Natural radiation is also contained within the human body. It contains very small quantities, or trace amounts, of radioactive carbon and potassium, carbon-14 and potassium-40. 
In addition to the natural background radiation, there are many sources of man-made radiation that may contribute daily to radiation exposure for humans. These include diagnostic and therapeutic radiology, the use of radiation, for example x-rays, to determine a patient's condition, and also to treat a patient, like cancer radiotherapy. Fallout from weapons testing. Some of the radioactive materials created during a nuclear test were injected into the highest regions of the atmosphere and carried around the Earth several times. They gradually returned to the Earth over a period of a few years and consequently gave doses to the population. Occupational exposure to medical personnel nuclear energy workers and industrial users of radioactive materials and even from something as simple as a smoke detector. Radiation from radioactive materials cannot be detected by any of our senses. Radiation can only be detected using special equipment like a Geiger Muller counter. Some people receive radiation exposure as part of their employment. In such an environment, worker radiation exposures are carefully monitored with the use of personal dosimeters to ensure that everyone's exposures are kept as low as reasonably achievable.